What's up, everybody, and welcome back to my channel for another one. Real quick, if you haven't done so already, please make sure you hit the like and the subscribe button and click that notification bell so you will be notified any and every time I post another video. Well, I hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving. I hope you're stuffed. I'm full. I'm still recovering from all the food that I ate this past weekend. Um, and, you know, and we had that. We finally had that crypto market flash crash on Black Friday like we normally have which was pretty hectic. You know, Bitcoin went down to 53K, uh, maybe even 52K, but it's picking back up now that um, December's almost here. And I still believe that we're still on track for uh, the 100 to 150K Bitcoin pr uh, price, but that's just my take on it. Let's get right into it. Um, some news that I saw that was pretty interesting that I like, uh, you, know, I, you know, I love NFTs and I also love Spider-Man, uh, but some news, on the Coin Telegraph article says Damien Hirst airdrops NFTs. He's a great artist. Make sure you check him out. But what I want to focus on today is that AMC teams up with Spider Man uh, to drop NFTs uh, to people who had uh, purchased tickets earlier this morning. Um, it says that AMC Entertainment and renowned NFT artist Damien Hirst are, are airdropping NFT to fans and collectors. This is super exciting. Um, you know, you know, for those that don't know, this is talking about Spider-Man No Way Home. Uh, um, of course, he is part of an Avenger, which, you know, everybody knows about and that it's going to be super exciting. It's supposed to be the multiverse and hopefully we get our three Spider-Mans. I personally believe Miles Morales is going to be in it. It's just so it opens up the world for Miles Morales. But it's post, there's there's a rumor that Tobey Maguire is going to be in it, Andrew Garfield, and of course, Tom Holland, all three Spider-Mans. But me, I think there's going to be a fourth Spider-Man. But that's just a whole nother story. But I'm going to get right into it here. It says, AMC Theaters um, planning an NFT promotion to celebrate the opening day of Sony Pictures' Spider-Man No Way Home at cinemas across the United States. And those tickets actually went on sale. This morning at 12.01, it says the company is offering a limited number of 86,000 Spider-Man NFTs for members of its AMC Stubbs Premier and A-List. So here's the thing. I wonder what blockchain that they're using. Well, we know what blockchain they're using. They're probably going to be using the Ethereum because, like I said, they had the first mover's advantage, you know, smart contracts, but they didn't do proof of stake. But if they used the Ethereum blockchain, that would be amazing. I hope they use the Cardano blockchain, but, you know... But we know we do know that AMC is using Bitcoin. They're going to be using uh, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, um, Doge, and possibly Shiba Inu. So you know they're going for it with mass adoption. You know I, I can see them using the Ethereum blockchain because that's you know they with with using OpenSea um, and possibly Adobe. Uh, but these are these NFTs are supposed to be super rare. Uh, I want to say I was reading something some um, maybe just this morning where they're saying there's only a hundred type of um, copies of these, but it's going to be in eighty six thousand um, varieties. Um, so it's going to be pretty neat. Um, they're supposed to be rare. Um, then it goes on by saying the collaboration between Sony Pictures and AMC Entertainment is the first of its kind, according to no according to a post uh, November 28th. Uh, this is super neat. This is super dope. I'm super excited for this. I know this is going to work out. I wonder if people can still, once they get them, if they can sell them in the open market, you know, but it's Marvel slash Sony Pictures. So, you know, they're really, um, those prices could increase over a period of time, you know, but it says here, more than 100 NFT designs will be available will be available created by Cube Studios uh an award-winning animation studio um the tokens will be redeemable on the Wax platform a carbon neutral blockchain running on proof of stake consensus consensus I don't know what Wax platform is I wonder if you know if it's still 
So I don't really, I, I don't know how this is going to go. Um, it's not on the Ethereum platform or blockchain. I could be wrong. I'm not familiar with the Wax platform, but that is something neat and something interesting. And it says the highly anticipated movie is third in the Spider-Man hero franchise and the sequel to Spider-Man Far From Home, which grows 1.13 billion globally. So you could, so you, one could only imagine if you get one of these NFTs, how much it could potentially be worth. Since they, since AMC and Sony Pictures are now getting into the NFT game, this is solidifying that NFTs are not a scam. NFTs are here to stay, folks. NFT is a non-fungible token where you take a physical asset and you turn it into an intangible asset, an intangible asset that you cannot touch and you completely destroy, if you want to, that physical asset, thus making it more rare than what it would have been if the physical asset was still alive. I mean, not alive, but still available. So NFTs are changing the game. NFTs are here. NFTs are not scams. Um, hopefully one day there could be an NFT uh, law, a license that um, that forbids people to hit the copy and paste, because it's possible to hit copy and paste. But it's impossible to actually make that um, that specific NFT that was copy and paste to be worth something. That's kind of like having a, and this is a caveat here. This kind of like having um, the first ever Superman comic book created that has value, but then copying it. That's still going to have value, but it's not going to have as much of value as it would have had if it was the very first original copy, never copy. So yeah, that's super exciting. Um, the NFT market is here. It's not going anywhere. If anybody thought it was a scam, if you, if you like Marvel and you like Sony Pictures together to make Spider-Man um, and the Avengers and all that stuff. Not the Avengers, that's Marvel. Uh, studios actually itself. But if you like Tom Holland's uh, character uh, in Spider-Man, Far From Home, No Way Home, and in the Avengers then you can't say that this is a scam because AMC, it has become the ultimate movie cinema slash theater that's actually adopting Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies and now NFTs. So AMC doesn't want to get left behind. Um, so now, you know, for those movie lovers, if you like Spider-Man and you thought about NFTs, this is your chance to actually look into NFTs. Um, do your research do your due diligence because there's NFTs on other platforms also. Um, I'm not familiar with the Wax platform, but there's NFTs on the Ethereum blockchain, the Cardano blockchain, the Solana blockchain, and the XRPL um, ledger. There's just and Tezos. So there's a numerous of, of NFT blockchains out there. Do your research, but this is super bullish for the world of NFTs. And this is super bullish for Spider-Man, <laughs> No Way Home. Um, so yeah, this is super dope, super excited. Um, sorry, not, sorry, not no way home. This is far from home. I stand corrected, but this is super exciting. I hope I can't wait to see what these NFTs look like. They're supposed to be super rare and that is super dope and that it will change the game. People, people don't understand that NFTs they think there's just a piece of JPEGs. And I mean, yeah, they could, yeah, they are. But they're from artists that actually know what they're doing. And um, they're, and most of these artists are actually destroying their artwork and, and, and actually making it digital. But that's all I got to say about that. We're going to go straight to the prices. And then I'm going to let you go. Right now, it says Bitcoin. Right now, the crypto market is still at 2.56 trillion. We're not there yet, but once we get to three trillion, we will change the game, and Bitcoin is going to go to a hundred thousand. That's my that's my price prediction. I'm not a financial advisor, but please do your research. Um, it's and we know that once Bitcoin goes up to hundred k, it's going to pull the rest of the altcoins up there. But that's my take on it. We're gonna see what the prices are. You know, everything does look like we're gonna be in the green. But here's the thing: Bit, prices. Rise prices drop. It's just a matter of time of when those prices would be suitable for you to cash out or when for, or for you to jump in. That was a lot of fud um, this this past weekend. Bitcoin currently is at fifty seven thousand two hundred fifty three. Ethereum is at four thousand three hundred seventeen. Binance Coin is at six hundred fourteen dollars. Solana is at two hundred five dollars. 
Cardano is at a dollar fifty eight. There was a lot of fud for this coin because you see that it's down uh, seven point, almost eight percent over seven days over a week. There was a lot of fud about this. Keep your head on the swivel. Um, it's just fud. This is Cardano is not a security. Um, tokens are not locked up. It's the most decentralized uh, blockchain out there. Um, so don't believe the FUD. Do your own research. Um, so just be really careful because just like they want your Bitcoin, they want your Cardano. Um, and there was an article saying that um, Bitcoin and Cardano are unique, are uniquely alike. And I do see similarities between those two. But that's what I'm going to say about that. Do your research. Uh, we got XRP is at 97 cents. We got USDC, uh, which is a stable coin, uh, that's, which I believe is going to be the US dollar soon. Polkadot, $35.74. Dogecoin, $0.20. Cents. Avalanche at $111.35. She even ended at the number 12 spots to under a penny. Luna, $48.47. Um, and we have crypto.com at 74 cents. It dropped and we have wrapped Bitcoin at 56,382. That is it for me, everybody. Um, I'm really super, I'm super bullish in the NFT space even more now that AMC movie theaters are going to be partnering to create an NFT over 86,000 NFTs, uh, rare, rare NFTs for spider, for Spider-Man far from home. Um, Super amazing. Um, we're pulling back up in the market. Everything is starting to look green again from the Bitcoin and the cryptocurrency flash crash for Black Friday. Everything's pulling back up. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And please, if you haven't seen my other videos, she's popping up somewhere, somewhere around here now. As always, stay focused, stay locked in. Peace. Oh.